Good evening, I'm Jeremy Bailey, a flying realtor, and this is Some Good News, Rhode Island. No, we are not New York. That's Long Island, that's part of New York. We are Rhode Island, we are a separate state. We are one of the 50. Without Rhode Island, there would only be 49 states. First, our legal disclaimer. I have no licensing agreement with Some Good News and John Krasinski. I'm going to give John Krasinski a shout out who is better known as Jim from The Office. Jim, please don't send me a cease and desist order because I'm having a lot of fun spreading good news throughout Rhode Island. For those of you who don't know who Jim from The Office is, please send me the address of the rock that you live under so that I may sell it for you and you can move to a place where you are better informed. All right, our first story tonight is gonna to take us to the northwest corner of Rhode Island to a little town known as the host of Wright's All You Can Eat Chicken Farm. That town does have a name Name, and that is Barville. In Barville, we'd like to give a shout out to Geraldine Dupuy, who has made over 500 masks and has donated them to first responders and make a wish. We interrupt this broadcast to report that Geraldine Dupuy is actually making her mask for a wish come true, not make a wish. They are both excellent organizations, but Geraldine Dupuy is making her mask for a wish come true. And before we return to our regularly scheduled broadcast, I'd like to bring you this clip of young Adam DeCesare, who's a budding basketball star who has a message for any college recruiters out there. Call me. I'd say he looks like a budding spud web to me. What do you think? And now, back to some more good news, Rhode Island. If that's not impressive enough, Maricel Rosenberg has now made over 3,000 masks on her sewing machine and has donated them to first responders, nurses, and quite frankly, anybody who has had a need. Continuing across town in Barville, we head on over to the high school, where tech teacher Mr. Aldrich and a group of his students have fired up their 3D printers and are printing hundreds upon hundreds of face shields for our first responders all across the state. Thank you guys, keep up the great work. I look forward to seeing what else you guys come up with. From Barville, we're gonna head on down to Route 100 South. We're gonna bang a left onto 102 South. We're gonna hang a right into the parking lot of Glad Tidings Community Church in the town of Gloucester, where they have solved the social distancing guidelines dilemma and have created a drive-in church service. Yes, you heard that right, folks. A drive-in church service, where they broadcast on a local FM station so attendees may listen from the comfort of their car. From Gloucester, we're gonna head down Route 44 East into the town of Smithfield, where we're gonna pass the old Bennies on our left, and we're gonna get on Route 295 South. From 295 South, we're gonna head on down to 95 South, to Route 4 South, to Route 1 South. We're gonna pass the fire lookout tower on our left, where every one of us has carved our names or initials at one point or another, and we're gonna end up in the town of South Kingston, where Sons of Liberty Distillery has been making hundreds upon hundreds of gallons of hand sanitizer and has been donating them to first responders and all of our frontline workers. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of clean hands. From South Kingston, we're going to head back up to 95 North and we're going to make a stop in the city of East Providence, where my Auntie Sharon has also been sewing dozens and dozens of face masks and has been donating them to friends, family, and quite frankly, anyone who says they need one. Thank you, Auntie Sharon. I love you. Well, that's all the good news I have to report for now. If you have other stories of good news from around Rhode Island, please share them on social media with the hashtag SGNRI. That's hashtag SGNRI. I have to tell you, I'm really excited to do this first episode of Some Good News Rhode Island. I can't wait for my 15 subscribers to see this and to give me a thumbs up or a love. Well, that's all for now. As the late, great Salty Brian used to say, don't forget to brush your teeth and say your prayers. Good night, Rhode Island. <laughs>